So this is fantastically exciting. Here we are harvesting our, our first commercial crop of lentils in Hertfordshire. And this is a journey that Hobmadog began way back in 2014 when we went to visit some, um, some German farmers in Sweden to talk about lentil production, which does happen both in Sweden but also in France and Germany. And we've been very interested in growing this very nutritious high protein crop that's very valuable in agricultural rotations for a number of years but it assumed it wasn't possible that it wasn't hot enough in the UK and that we didn't have a dry enough autumn and the Germans and the Swedes both said just plant them see what happens and so we spent two years doing small scale field trials just just a few meters square looking at the techniques we'd need to apply to both the production and also the harvesting of the crop and then this year we've we've pushed that to a larger scale to sort of acre scale um, field trials with people like Tim and Tim has been learning with us how to harvest and manage the crop. What's it been like, Tim? Um, it's not been as difficult as I thought. Um, the crop emerges really quickly, covers the ground really quickly. Um, there's been even uh, growth through it and it's managed to suffer a drought, then a flood, and it still managed to survive till harvest. So. Um, all together we've been quite pleased. Um, the harvesting is just going to be, we're going to have to um, re-alter the uh, combine header to make it a little easier to combine, but I think it's possible. So That is the that is one of the tricks, isn't it? And I think in, in the rest of the world where lentils are grown commercially, there are a lot of modified bits yeah. of farm machinery, special headers, the bits at the front of the combine, which allow the lentil to be picked up both without damaging them and also to maximise the yield because they are quite low yielding. And yeah, I was going to say, what sort of yield would you be expecting off an, an well, acre? Well, if we if we had a good yield off an acre, um, we would expect, and it's quite small, somewhere around 700, 750 kilos. So it's not the kind of tonnage that you might get for a, a cereal crop, but it's much higher value. Uh, so we can make a much better return to Tim on the farm. So all in all, I think we're probably going to be better off growing lentils than wheat. 